All right, Mavericks are home team for this contest. Taking the field right now. Ready to face the Elgin Wildcats. Pretty good season last season for the Wildcats. 19 at 17 overall, 12 and 2 in district. They were area finalists in District 18 5A. Bringing back a pretty good set of returning starters with six returning starters as well as five returning lettermen. Starting defense for the Mavericks. Got Jackson Collins at first base. Jack Goins at second. Ryan Vosick playing shortstop. Got Caleb Quayle at third base. Ramsey Simpson out in left field. Chris Windesman in center. And Brandon Morio in right field to complete the all left-handed outfield. Garrett Banks is your catcher behind the plate and your starting pitcher, left-hander Tim Calder on senior. Elgin playing their second game today. Played the game before this and uh, lost that game 10-0 to Vista Ridge Rangers. Nice, bright, clear, warm, sunny day. Much different from the uh, games earlier this week. Up at Leander, we played a doubleheader. That was pretty cool. At least pretty cool for the for game two, that doubleheader. All right, starting pitcher Calderon is finished with his warm-ups. And he will face the top of the order here for the Elgin Wildcats. Leading off will be number 20, the pitcher, Nathan Lewis. will be followed by the center fielder, Strong, and then the shortstop, Humphreys. Comes the first pitch from Calderon. Fastball swung on and missed. Strike one. Calderon senior, crafty lefty with some nice run in his fastball, some good breaking balls. Saw a breaking ball right there. Missed a little bit outside and low for ball one. One one pitch, swung on and missed again, strike two. So Calderon working ahead early here to lead off batter Lewis. Lewis also the starting pitcher for the uh, Wildcats here this afternoon. Comes a one two pitch. Caught the outside corner, called strike three. So a leadoff strikeout for the Wildcats. Brings up the center fielder, Justin Strong. Got a breaking ball, missed a little bit outside for ball one. Next pitch fastball, misses a little bit outside again, ball two. Two-0 pitch from Calderon, swung on and missed, strike three, or sorry, <laughs> strike one. Getting a little ahead of myself there. Two and one, the count to Strong. Next pitch swung on and fouled out of play over on the right field side.
2 2 pitch to Strong. Swung on and fouled back. So Strong stays alive with a foul tip. Another 2 2 pitch from Calderon. Swung on. Sh kind of a shallow line drive just gets over the glove of the second baseman Goins and into shallow right field for a base hit. Little line drive just kind of hung up there just over the top of the glove of Goins from second base. It was doing what he could to head back into the shallow right field there but just couldn't quite come up with it. So one out single for Strong brings up the shortstop number 10 Bobby Humphreys. Humphreys looks at a first pitch fastball over the plate for called strike one. Well, pick off move over to first base. Caught him leaning a little bit, but oh, ball gets away from first baseman Collins. And Strong is going to get in easily into second base. Good pickoff move. Had him lean a little bit, dove back into base, but then uh, the ball got away from the first baseman. So now we're runner on second with one out. 0-1 count to Humphreys. Next pitch swung on, ground ball to shortstop. Fielded by Vasek cleanly. Throws over to first and in time for the out. And the runner strong advances to third base on the throw. And with two outs, that brings up the third baseman, Matthew Cedillo. And Cedillo looks at a first pitch fastball, caught the outside corner, called strike one. Next pitch swung on, ground ball right to the third baseman, Crail. Fields it, throws it over to first, and in time for the third out. So one base runner, but no runs come across for Elgin here in the top of the first inning. No score. Mavericks heading for their first at-bats here in the bottom of the first.
Top of the order coming up here for the Mavs. Leadoff hitter, left fielder, Ramsey Simpson. And uh, he's Simpson's being asked to remove a chain over there on the side. He'll be followed by the second baseman, Jack Goins, hitting in the two spot. And then shortstop, Ryan Vosick, hitting third. Jackson Collins, the first baseman, hitting in the cleanups position today. Nathan Lewis, your pitcher for the Wildcats, also the leadoff hitter. And here comes the first pitch from Lewis to Simpson. Simpson looks at a called strike one. Next pitch swung on, popped shallow infield right to the left-hand side of the pitcher. Third baseman comes over and catches it for the first out. So one out for the Mavericks. Brings up second base from Jack Goins. Goins looks at a fastball up high for ball one. One out pitch from Lewis. Ooh, fastball outside. Catcher did a good job framing it. Gets the gets it for called strike one. So one ball, one strike to Goins. Next pitch, fastball away into the dirt. Count to go to two and one. So good day. Attempted breaking ball that did not break. Stayed up high. So it'll be three balls and one strike to Goins. Next pitch swung on and missed. Strike two. Three two pitch to Goins. And he thought it was ball four. Umpire called it a strike three on the outside corner. So Lewis retires the first two Mavs here in the bottom of the first. Brings up the shortstop, Ryan Vasek. Vasek looks at a... First pitch fastball. This one seemed to miss a little bit outside there. Ball one. Next pitch swung on. Deep drive into left field. Left fielder running back, running back, turned back, and the ball goes off the fence. Vosick is in easily at second base. Just missed a home run on that one by maybe a foot. So Vosick with a deep drive and a two-out double here in the bottom of the first. And that brings up the first baseman and cleanup hitter, Jackson Collins. Vosick with a healthy lead off second base there. Pitcher turns around to pick off at second, but Vosick is back in time. First pitch to Collins, called strike. Next pitch, a breaking ball that stayed high and outside. So it'll be one and one to Collins. Vasek 
Bostic definitely with a very aggressive lead on second base. Not being held on very much. As the next pitch misses low and outside to Collins. Lewis gets set for the 2-1 pitch. Next pitch big, swing and a miss by Collins. Strike two. Two balls and two strikes. Count to Collins. Next pitch bounces in the dirt. Stays in front, knocked down by the catcher, but Vosick had with his aggressive lead was able to capitalize on that and manages to get to the third base. Three two count now to Collins, two outs. Vosick the runner on third. And here comes a 3-2 pitch. Curveball swung on and missed, strike three. So the Mavs get a base runner on the long double by Vosick, but unable to bring him around. Still no score. We head to the top of the second. We'll be right back. All right, leading off four on the Wildcats this inning, number five hitter, Alex Gomez. Yes. Free swings the first pitch, ground ball to Caleb Crail at third base, throws it over first in time for the first out. One pitch, one quick out here for Calderon on the top of the second. That'll bring up the designated hitter for the Wildcats, number 11, Luke Gomez. And he offers a bunt of the first pitch, gets it down, but it uh, heads foul down the first baseline. So he will come back. Here comes the 0-1 pitch from Calderon, squares around a bunt again, drops it down, bunts it pretty much right back to the pitcher. Calderon fields it cleanly, throws over to first in time for another ground ball out and the second out of the inning. And that will bring the right fielder, Omar Palacios, to the plate.
And the first pitch to Palacios is a called strike. Calderon working ahead. Filling the zone with strikes today. Next pitch swung on ground ball over the top of the glove of Calderon. Vosick made a good play coming over from shortstop to try to get it, but just couldn't quite find the handle. So that'll likely be an infield hit for Palacios. Kind of a high chopper just right back at the pitcher, but a little bit over his glove. So it's a two-out single for Palacios. That brings up the second baseman, Austin Miller. And first pitch to Miller is fastball low for ball. Calderon throws over to first. Palacios is back safely. Next pitch is swung on by Miller and kind of inside it out, fouled out of play down the right field line. Be one ball, one strike to Miller. Runner goes. Throw down from Banks, not in time. So stolen base for Palacios. Here comes the 2-1 pitch to Miller. Called strike on the outside corner. Miller thought about swinging at that one, but held up. And the count goes to two and two now. Two outs. And Palacios, your runner on second. Palacios takes off. Pitch is swung on. Grounded softly to shortstop. Vasek fields it cleanly. Throws the first. Not in time. And Pal uh, Palacios was running the whole time all the way from third. And he's the runner. Miller is safe at first. And Palacios is safe at home. So a two-out RBI infield single for Miller. And the Wildcats are on the board. Strike first. And that brings up the number nine hitter, left fielder, Nicholas Salcedo. First pitch to Salcedo is a fastball. Sails out a little bit high and outside for a ball. Runner goes, and he's picked off. Let's see if they can execute on the play. Nice throw down by Collins. Perfect placement down low for the tag for Vasek. And Miller is caught, picked off on the base pass, and that will end the inning. So the Wildcats score run on a couple of infield hits. And we head to the bottom of the second inning. Mavs chasing one run.
Leading off for the Mavs this inning, center fielder Chris Windesman. Catcher Garrett Bakes stands on deck, and then he'll be followed by the third baseman, Caleb Crail. Windesman looks at a first pitch strike, called him the outside corner, I suppose. Next pitch, swung on and missed. Strike two. O2 pitch, big breaking ball that stayed up high. So it'll be one ball and two strikes to Windsman. Next pitch, fastball in the outside corner, swung on and missed for strike three. Third strikeout of the game so far for Lewis. Brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Now number two, catcher, Garrett Banks. And Banks sees a first pitch curveball that was high and inside and went all the way back to the screen. So it'll be ball one. Pitch is a fastball that is low in the dirt and away from the glove of the Elkins catcher. So it'll be two balls, no strikes to Banks. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Another ball low and outside. Looked like umpire was going to motion for strike there, but he held back. So 3 0 is the count to Banks. And he's aboard with four straight pitches. So one out walk for Banks. There's a third baseman, Caleb Crail. And we're going to have a pinch runner, or a courtesy runner, I should say, for uh, the catcher, Banks. It's like number 22, Ryan Shook, is now the uh, courtesy runner on first base in place of the catcher Banks. Comes the first pitch to Crail. Ball gets away from the catcher, and Shook is on his way down to second base. Throw down, not in time, and offline and high. So Shook advances to second. And the Mavs have a runner in scoring position here with one out in the bottom of the second inning. 1-0 pitch to Crail, finds the 5-6 hole between shortstop and third for a single. Shook makes it to third, but he's going to hold up. And Crail took a big swing around first base, but then heads back. And so a nice single to the left side for Crail. Moves the courtesy runner Shook over to third base. We've got runners on first and third with one out. Brings up the designated hitter, Alex Briseño. First pitch to Briseño is a ball outside and in the dirt. Oh, and they've got Crail picked off at first base. And he is at, tagged out at second, but that will allow Shook to advance from home uncontested. So the Mavs tied up there with some uh, base running alchemy of sorts. And now the bases are cleared with two outs, and Briseño stands in with a one ball, no strike count. And he looks.
looks at a called strike. Fastball on the outside part of the plate. Next pitch swung on, lofted, high fly ball, shallow left field. Left fielder coming on very hard at charging. Center fielder actually comes over and tries to make the play, but drops it. And so Brasenio is safe. That was a tough ball there. Kind of a no man's land, but I suspect that'll go as an error on the center fielder for the Wildcats. That brings up the right fielder and number nine hitter Brandon Morio as uh, Lewis throws over to first with a quick move to try to catch Brasenio, but he's back in time. Comes the first pitch to Morio. Swung on ground ball. Soft bouncer over to third base. Fielded cleanly, throws over in time, and that will end the inning. Mavs tied up, though, with some uh, base running theatrics there. Tie score, 1-1, one to one, heading to the top of the third inning. Elgin Wildcats coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, it'll be a fresh count and fresh at bat for the left fielder, Salcedo, here in the top of the third inning. Salcedo was at bat last inning when there was a caught stealing or pickoff move on the base pass last inning to end the inning. It'll be Salcedo, the number nine hitter, then back to the top of the order for the Wildcats here. And Salcedo looks at a curveball in there for first pitch called strike. Another good breaking ball in there. Catches the outside corner for called strike two. Comes the 0-2 pitch to Salcedo. Fastball just gets a piece of it, fouls it back into the screen. Another 0-2 pitch to Salcedo. Swung on a miss, strike three. Second strikeout for Calderon so far this game. Just filling the zone with strikes. 28 total pitches so far for Calderon, 22 of those for strikes. So he is being aggressive, filling the zone, going right at these hitters. Bring us back to the top of the lineup, pitcher Lewis. He grounds... To the shortstop, Vasek, he fields it, throws it over to first, and it is in time for the second out of the inning.
Two outs. Brings up the center fielder, Justin Strong. Strong singled in his first at bat in the first inning. Looks at a first pitch breaking ball. Misses a little bit outside. Ball one. Next pitch, fastball. Misses high and outside. A lot of arm side run on that pitch. Two-o pitch misses a little bit high and outside. Ball three. Three-o pitch called strike. Next pitch swung on, fouled, out of play. So Calderon works all the way back from 3 0 to full count now. Two outs, nobody on. Top of the lineup due for due up for the uh, Mavericks. Next pitch swung on, good ground ball right through the left side in between third base and shortstop there for a two out single. Two singles on the day for Strong, the number two hitter. Brings up the shortstop, Bobby Humphreys. Humphreys uh, grounded out to shortstop in his first at bat. Calderon throws over to first base. Strong is back safely. First pitch to Humphreys. A fastball catches the outside corner. Called strike. Another throw over to first by Calderon there. Strong is back in time. Comes the 0-1 pitch. Fastball misses outside. Snap throw down from the catcher. Banks to first base. Ball gets away from first, but is knocked down and kept, kept safe by uh, Collins. It looks like he might have blocked that ball with his head. One one pitch to Humphreys. Looks like another fastball right down the middle of the plate. Called strike two. So one and two the count to Humphreys. Two outs. Strong the runner on first. Got a pretty healthy lead over there at first. And he's gonna go. But a swing and a miss. Strike three. Two strikeouts for Calderon that inning. One hit. And no runs come around. Still tied up at 1-1. Top of the order due up for the Mavericks here in the bottom of third. We'll be right back.
are leading off for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the third inning. Leadoff hitter Ramsey Simpson popped out to third base in his first at bat. He looks at a called first strike on the outside corner. Next pitch to Simpson misses outside. This will be one ball, one strike. Oh, and Simpson calls time there right as Lewis was uh, beginning his delivery. One pitch, Simpson there. Simpson held off, but uh, umpire called it a strike on the outside part of the plate. So one and two, the count to Simpson. Next pitch outside again, misses a little bit high. Two two pitch. Lewis continuing to work the outside part there. Missed a little bit outside. So we'll go full. Count will go full to Simpson. Second baseman Jack Goins stands on deck. And next pitch is a ball up high. Misses for ball four. Simpson walks to lead off the bottom of the third. Brings up Jack Goins. Struck out in his first at bat. Throws over to check on the runner, Simpson. Simpson's back in time. Going squares around to Bunn. Puts a nice push bunt down the first baseline. Has a lot of speed. Picked up by the pitcher. They do get the out first, but he successfully moves Simpson over on the sacrifice bunt there. So one away for the Mavs here in the bottom of three. Brings up the shortstop, Ryan Vasek. Vasek had a towering double out to left center in his first at bat. And a pickoff move. Ball is thrown by the pitcher, Lewis, into the dirt at second base there. Fielded cleanly, though. Simpson's back safely at second. First pitch to Vasek. In a little bit high and tight there, misses for ball. One oh pitch to Vasek. Swung on, hard ground ball. Right to third base, kind of bobbles the ball though, and legs the Vasek is safe at first. Ball gets away from the first baseman, so that will allow Simpson to advance from second to third. So a defensive miscue on that ground ball to third there, as well as the one over at first base. And it's safe all around. We got runners on first and third. One out, and Jackson Collins stands in. Collins struck out in his first at bat. And first pitch is fouled off while Vosick, the runner at first, was on his way, steal second. And he will head back.
Here comes the 0-1 pitch to Collins. Big swing and a miss, strike two and a breaking ball. O2 pitch to Collins. Another breaking ball. Swung on. He gets a piece of this one, though, and lofts it into shallow left field for a base hit. That will allow Simpson to score easily and put the Mavs up by a score of 2-1. to one. Good job by Collins to sit back on that curveball. Didn't, tr didn't try to do too much with it. Just lofted it out there. Gets himself an RBI single. That brings up Chris Windesman. Runners on first and second. Big swing at the first pitch he sees there. Miss strike one. One pitch to Windesman misses a little bit low and in the dirt for ball. So it'll be one on one count to Windesman. Ryan Vosick, your runner at second, Jackson Collins at first after his RBI single. Next pitch, another breaking ball, swung on and missed. One ball and two strikes to count to Windesman. Next pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. And it was a quick throw down to first base. Collins is safe at first, but on the throw, Vosick with some heads up base running advances to third. So the strikeout by Windsman is the second out, but now we have runners on first and third. And that brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Banks walked in his first appearance last inning and was the uh, and came all the way around and was the Mavs' first run scored. First pitch to Banks is low and in the dirt, and they've got <laughs> <laughs> they had Collins hung out, who was kind of halfway. Stuck halfway in between first and second there. But indecision on the part of the catcher there allows Collins to be safe at second. It was an errant throw that went out into the center field, and that allows Vosick to come around and score and make the score three to one maps. Oh, first pitch to Banks is absolutely smoked, but foul. Hard line drive went all the way into the opposing uh, bullpen area there on the left side. Next pitch, another big swing and a miss there by Banks. One ball, two strikes to Banks. Two outs. Collins runner on second. Another attempted breaking ball there. Just kind of stayed high, never came down. So it'll be two balls, two strikes to count. Next pitch, low fastball, swung on, tipped by Banks there, so he'll head back.
And the pitcher calls time and wants to have a conversation with his catcher. A couple other scores from uh, other teams in the McNeil District here. Teams also playing non-district games in these preseason tournaments. Vandegrift beat Belton by a score of 6-0 today. Westwood over the Texans 17-2. And the game right before this one here, Vista Ridge beat Elgin 10-0. So Banks gets set for the 1-2 pitch. Curveball misses outside and high. Two-two pitch, another curveball. Seems intent on trying to make that curveball work, but it's not quite landing. So count goes full. <laughs> and here comes the three-two pitch to Banks. Swung on, hard ground ball, gets through the side of the shortstop and into left field for a base hit. Gets under the legs of the left fielder. That allows Collins to score easily from second. And on the outfield error, Banks stands on second base and celebrates. So two out RBI single for Banks. Banks to score 4-1 to one in favor of the Mavericks. And uh, once again, we're going to have a courtesy runner for the catcher Banks. Ryan Shook goes back in now in his place on second base. And we have a visit to the mound from the Elgin pitching coach. So a couple of wa a walk, some defensive miscues, and a couple of key base hits with runners in scoring position here, and has, has allowed the Mavericks to tack on three runs here at the bottom of the third. And they may not be done yet. Two outs. Ryan Shook, now your courtesy runner on second base. That brings number 29, Caleb Crail, up. Crail had a single in his first at bat. And he takes a big hack at the first cut there, way out in front of it, and uh, manages to just tap it foul back to the screen. Oh, one pitch to Crail. Breaking ball sits on it. Oh, but just, it was a hard hit line drive, but just to the left side of the third base bag and foul. That was an RBI and definitely extra bases if that would have been a little bit further inside. So no balls and two strikes to count to Crail. Curtsy runner shook at second. Pretty good lead. Next pitch is fastball bounces in the dirt. It'll be one ball and two strikes to Crail. They throw a pickoff move, try to catch Shook at second, but throws offline. <laughs> Comes a one two pitch to Crail. Swung on, ground ball, third base. Fielded cleanly, throws over to first and in time for the third out. 
Productive inning for the Mavs. Tucked down three runs. Now up ahead of the Wildcats, 4-1. to one. We head to the top of the fourth inning. Middle of the lineup due up for the uh, Wildcats. We'll be right back. All right, four, five, six hitters due up for the Wildcats here. On top of the fourth inning, leading off will be the third baseman, Matthew Cedillo. Cedillo grounded out to third base in his first at bat back in the first inning. First pitch to Cedillo, misses a little bit outside and low, ball one. Next pitch misses a little bit outside. Count will go to two balls and no strikes. Counter on tries to come inside there, misses a little bit low. So it'll be three balls, no strikes to the leadoff hitter Cedillo. And next pitch misses outside, ball four. Ball gets away from the catcher, Banks, but Cedillo does not run with too much intent down on that walk. So leadoff walk for Cedillo. And that brings up the catcher, Alex Gomez who grounded out to third base in his first at bat as Mavs catcher Banks heads back from a quick conversation with his pitcher. Gamma squares around to bunt his first pitch. Pulls back, that was his ball. Banks snaps throw down to first base. Not in time, gets away from the first baseman there, Jackson Collins. A one pitch, squares around a bunt again, pulls back on it, but the ball gets away from the catcher. And that does allow Cedillo to advance to second base. Not sure if there was some sort of signs mix up there or what happened there, but uh, Cedillo now, the runner on second, squares around a bunt again, Gomez, the hitter. But the pitch is outside. So the count goes to 3-0 and oh to the hitter, Gomez. 
And next pitch is a get me over strike. Squares around to Bunt again. Bunts it. Oh, good effort by the catcher, Banks. As the ball was kind of just bunted in a little short pop-up. And let's see what they're going to say here. Looks like an umpire is going to say it was a fair ball. So the home page... Home plate umpire is going to, I guess, ask for some clarification from the field umpire as to whether or not that was a fair ball. Extended conversation here between the home plate umpire and the Elgin first base coach. Seems to be about the hand motion that the home plate umpire ma ma made, which was kind of throwing his arms out to both sides, almost indicating like safe. And they're going to call the hitter Gomez back to for back to the plate. Okay, so the f <laughs> the ultimate ruling here was a foul ball. It's now a 3-2 count to Gomez. And the next pitch is swung on, lofted into pretty much right at the center fielder, Chris Windesman. He grabs it, makes the catch. Runner will tag from second and slides into third base uncontested. So Gomez flies out to center field. Advances the runner, Cedillo, from second to third. And now the designated hitter, Gomez, Luke Gomez, comes up to the plate. Gomez bunted right back to the pitcher. Last inning was thrown out first. And Gomez looks at a first pitch fastball high and outside for ball one. Next pitch is in there for a called strike on the inside corner. Next pitch, a high fastball swung on and just tapped lightly over foul territory towards the uh, direction of the Mavericks dugout. So it'll be one ball, two strikes to the designated hitter, Gomez. Cedillo, the runner on third with one out. Next pitch, fastball just misses a little high and inside. And here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two away. That's the fourth strikeout for starting pitcher Calderon today so far. And it looks like we have a pinch hitter, number 23, Omari Williams, comes in and swings at the first pitch. Foul down the third baseline. So Williams hitting in the seventh spot in place of the right fielder, Palacios. Oh, one pitch to Williams, breaking ball, catches the outside corner, called strike two. Two pitch to Williams. 
Another break ball in the outside corner, swing and a miss, strike three. So Calderon works out of traffic again, no damage. Up to five strikeouts this game. Mavs heading into the bottom of the fourth, still on top, four to one. All right, leading off for the Mavericks here, bottom of fourth inning. Designated hitter Alex Braseno was safe on a drop fly ball by the center fielder back in the second inning. And he swings at the first pitch, fouls it back into the screen. Braseno will be followed by the uh, right fielder Brandon Morio and then back to the top of the Mavericks order with Ramsey Simpson. Next pitch swung on, ground ball chopped right into the glove of the third baseman, makes the throw on the run, and gets the first out of the inning. So one away for the Mavs here in the bottom of the fourth, brings up right fielder Brandon Morio, grounded out to third base in his first at bat in the second inning. First pitch to Morio popped up, shallow center field. Shortstop going over to make it, and he drops the ball. And no one is covering second base, so Morio will advance to second base on the dropped pop fly in shallow center field. Good heads up base running. Never give up on a play. Lesson learned there. And that brings us to the top of the Mavericks order, Ramsey Simpson, left fielder. Simpson with a walk in the third inning and uh, popped out to third base in the first. First pitch to Simpson's fastball misses outside. Next pitch misses inside on the hands. So it'll be two balls, no strikes to Simpson. Next pitch swung on hard ground ball to first base, backhanded by the first baseman, and he will take it himself to first in time for the out. The runner Morio advances to third base on the play. So two outs, brings up second baseman Jack Goins, had a sacrifice bunt in his last at bat. Swings the first pitch and pops it foul. So sounds like that might just miss the press box back here.
comes the 0 1 pitch to Goins. Ball misses just looks like a little bit low. Be one ball, one strike. Brandon Morio, the runner on third here with two outs, and then next pitch is far outside to Goins. So it'll be two balls and one strike. Two one pitch swung on hard ground ball to third base, right to his glove though, fields it in time and throws it over to first base for the third out of the inning. So one base runner for the Mavs on an error, but no runs across. Close out the bottom of the fourth inning. Heading to the top of five, Wildcats coming up. Mavs still leading by a score four to one. We'll be right back. All right, it's the 8-9 hitters and back to the top of the lineup for uh, the Wildcats here in the top of the fifth inning. Tim Calderon, starting pitcher for the Mavericks, still out there, cruising along at 58 pitches here. Leading off will be the second baseman, Austin Miller, singled in his uh, only appearance so far today back in the second inning. He squares around to bunt. Looks like he lays it down, but umpire called it foul. Looks like a Indicating, oh, he's saying it went off of his foot, so he's out. All right, so one quick pitch and a bunt off of the foot while in fair territory, and it's a quick out. And looks like we've got a... Pinch hitter again. Number 42, Christopher Washington, now the hitter in place of uh, the left fielder, Salcedo. And he looks at a called strike followed by a ball. So it's a one on one count to the pinch hitter, Washington. Nice curveball, swing and a miss, strike two. Looks like we have a, uh, a wardrobe chain-related issue on the neck here again. <laughs> All right, jewelry has been removed, and Washington steps back in now with a 1-2 count. One two pitch, fastball lofted into shallow center field. Windesman comes in a couple of steps and makes the play. Right. 
So two quick outs. For Calderon here in the top of the fifth inning. And we're back to the top of the Wildcat lineup. The pitcher, number 20, Lewis, stands in. Lewis 0 for 2 with a strikeout and grounded out to short. And he holds up on a first pitch breaking ball that catches the outside corner leg. Kind of a backdoor curveball slider there by Calderon, and it's 0-1. Next pitch swung on into the gap in left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit, possibly more. Fielded by Simpson, and Lewis is going to head into second base, standing up with a two-out double. That'll bring up the number two hitter, Justin Strong. Two for two with two singles today. Swings at the first pitch, line drive into shallow left field, just a couple of steps in, and left fielder Ramsey Simpson grabs the, grabs the ball and makes the play. So a late double on two outs, but goes nowhere. And the Mavs escape the... Top of the fifth with no runs. Three, four, five hitters due up here in the bottom of the fifth for the Mavericks. Score still McNeil four, Elgin one. All right, Mavs looking to tack on some more runs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Leading off will be the shortstop, Ryan Vosick. Been on base twice today with a, a long drive double and uh, was safe on an infield error back in the third inning. Lewis still the pitcher for uh, the Wildcats. Vosick swings the first pitch. Another ground ball to third base, but not fielded cleanly. And he's going to be in there safe. So Vasek reaches all three at bats so far today, twice on errors. So leadoff runner is aboard here in the bottom of the fifth. Brings up first base from Jackson Collins. Collins had a single with an RBI in his last at bat. And Vasek goes. Throw down to second base is offline, not in time, so Vasek in with the stolen base. Pitch to Collins was a ball. Comes the 1-0 pitch to Collins. Ball in the dirt, misses outside. It'll be 2-0. Vasek with some aggressive leads out there at second base. 
both second base and short, trying to work the bag. Next pitch breaking ball misses a little bit high. Three balls and no strikes to Collins. Three zero pitch to Collins, green light, swung on, fouled over into the uh, Wildcats dugout. It'll be three and one to Collins. Windsman, the center fielder, stands on deck. And the next pitch almost hits Collins, and that'll be ball four. Runners on first and second now. Nobody out. Wildcats catcher heads out to talk to his pitcher, Lewis. Lewis working on pitch number 68 here in the bottom of five. Sorry, pitch number 69. Wind has, has been looking for his first hit here this game. Now would be a good time with runners on first and second. Some good speed with Vosick, the lead runner at second. And he squares around and offers out a bunt, but misses, so it's strike one. Left-hand hitting wind has been not typically a bunter, but uh, good situation for that here to try to draw the little push bunt down third base line. And he squares around, but then pulls back. The pitch misses for a ball. One one pitch to Windesman squares around, but pitches far inside. So it'll be two and one. Squares around a bunt again. Pitch misses outside. So the count is three and one to Windesman. Catcher Garrett Bake stands on deck. And the next pitch is comes inside where Windesman offers bunt again, but bunts it foul. So count is now full. Three two pitch to Windesman. And it is ball four. Way high and outside. And that will load the bases. And it looks like we are going to have a pitching change. A long conversation on the mound. Still unclear. Okay, now he finally managed to coach motions over to his bullpen. And we are going to have a pitching change here. Looks like number five, Trevor Kurgan, is going to be the new pitcher for the Elgin Wildcats. We will let Kurgan get his warm-up pitches here, and we'll be right back.
All right, our new pitcher, Kurgan, is ready to go. He inherits bases loaded and nobody out. Now hitting for the Mavericks, catcher Garrett Banks. Banks has been on base twice today. A walk back in the second and a single in the third. Infield is all the way up on the grass. And he looks at the first pitch from Kurgan, a called strike on the outside corner. Not entirely happy about that call. Comes the 0-1 pitch to Banks. Swung on, sky high pop fly, pop fly. Looks like it's gonna be in foul territory on the third base side. Third baseman's over, but can't make the grab. So Banks will come back with another life and an 0-2 count. O2 pitch to Banks. Swung on, lofted into shallow right field. Looks like right fielder's going to have to really run in to grab it. He slides, ball is down. Everybody's safe. And Vostick scores from third. So a little bloop Texas leaguer single into right field and an RBI for Garrett Banks. And that makes the score 5-1 to one in favor of the Mavericks. And we still have bases loaded, nobody out. Brings up Caleb Crail. One for two today with a single. Base is still loaded. Infield still in. Got pinch, hunter, pinch runner number 22, Ryan Shook, now in as the uh, runner of record on first base. Sorry, courtesy runner for uh, the catcher Banks, who just reached on that uh, bloop single. First pitch to Crail is a ball. Here comes the 1-0 pitch. This pitch is inside, almost hits him. Ball two. Two-zero pitch seems to have hit him, so Crail will take his base. Looks like I must have got him on the uh, on the apparel there. So another run will come across as Collins crosses the plate, making the score six to one. Everybody moves up a base, and that brings up our designated hitter, Alex Brasenio. Senior looks at the first pitch in there for a called strike one. Comes inside on that one, called strike on the inside corner. So, Presenio behind now with an 0-2 count. Got Chris Windesman, the runner on third. Ryan Shook at second. Caleb Crail, the runner on first. And the 0-2 pitch to Bersenio misses high and inside. It'll be one ball and two strikes. One two pitch swung on deep fly ball into left field. Left fielder going back, back, back. And it is going to be over his head and down. One run is going to score. Shook is going to come in from second and score. And it is a two RBI deep double for Alex Bersenio. A 
Those two RBIs and bring the score now 8-1 to one in favor of the Mavericks. Still nobody out. Got runners on second and third. And the right fielder, Brandon Morio, stands in. Morio was safe on a error by the center fielder last inning. Swings at the first pitch, fouls it back into the screen. He looked like he was trying to get all that one. A one pitch to Morio. Fastball over his head. Misses for a ball. One one pitch misses high. It'll be two balls, one strike to Morio. Crail, your runner on third. Brisegno, the runner at second after that double out to the left field fence. And the 2 1 pitch to Morio. Oh, no. Hits him in the shoulder. So he will head down, and that will load the bases again with nobody out still. And we are back to the top of the Mavericks order. Left fielder Ramsey Simpson stands in. Simpson looking for his first hit today. Reached on a walk back in the third inning, but then popped out and uh, grounded out. Swings the first pitch and lofts a ball just outside of the range of the second baseman and into right field for a base hit. And that will be another RBI as Crail comes in from third. And we're moving station to station here. Everybody moves up, bases still loaded. Score now nine to one Mavericks. And with nobody out still, Second baseman, Jack Goins, stands in. And he swings at the first pitch and drives a deep line drive down the left field line. That's going to be in and for extra bases. And they hold up, Samson, or hold up Simpson at third base because that will make the score 11 to 1, and that might be the run rule. Definitely looked like Simpson could have scored from third on that, and uh, yes, that is going to be the end of the game. So the Mavericks walk it off with a run rule double by Jack Goins. Final score, Mavericks 11, Elgin 1. Thanks, everyone, for joining us today. Join us tomorrow. We've got... Two games against Buda Johnson Jaguars. Back-to-back -back first games at 12 o'clock, second games at 2.30. We'll see you all then. Thanks for joining in.